this is Chill Computer Guy. Today we're here in Bitwig Studios. We are going to talk about how to save your mixed channels. Now, when I say mixed channels, I mean your instruments, your effects, your chains, your modulation, your automation, your MIDI notes, everything, all within one file. We're going to go ahead and show you how to do this. We're going to start off with a multi sample acoustic piano. There's our acoustic piano. We're going to create a clip. Okay, we're going to double click on that. And we're going to create just some simple little MIDI information here. Let's give a note there, maybe a note there. Bring that down a little bit, put a note there. Bring that back a little bit, whatever, you know, just some MIDI information. There you go. Okay. Now also we're going to add some uh, quick automation to this. We're going to double click and we're going to go into the pitch. We're going to add automation lane. We're going to go back into the uh, automation editor right here. And you'll see uh, there is my pitch transpose. We have to click and adjust that. Make sure it's going to default to volume on all clips. So let's go ahead and uh, put in some simple automation here. How about that? That has put a couple points. You'll notice on your point, you click once. Away from your point, you got to click twice. That's so kind of a little helpful hint there. Okay, so there we go. Let's create a couple of little curves in here. Everybody loves a curve. Who doesn't love curved automation? There we go. So there's our curve. So we have a pitch transpose. We have some notes here. And then also what I'm going to do to click here, I'm going to add some effects onto here. So let's go ahead and take this and add a, uh, how about a, uh, a little delay there? Add like a delay. Okay, that's good. And then we're also, because we're feeling crazy, a third party uh, VST will go ahead and add uh, some of this, uh, some distortion here. So now we have a delay, we have some distortion. Now we're going to actually modulate um, this mix parameter here with the LFO on the polysynth, or on the sampler rather. So, and we're also going to go in here and we're going to, we're going to make this pretty crazy. We're going to, we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to go into the presets here. We're going to go into uh, Intense. We're going to go into uh, Hardy 5. That's a pretty good preset. Okay, so we're going to close that. Now you'll see if I click on the Mix channel, it's going to show all of our instruments, our third party VST here even, and we're also going to see the modulation that we created to the uh, mix of the LFO. Uh, if we go to our MIDI, we see our MIDI notes. If we go to our Automation, and we go to uh, our transpose there. We can see our MIDI notes, our modulation, our instrument chain. So a lot going on in this simple little MIDI clip. Let's go ahead and play this. I don't know what it's going to sound like, but. Oh, it's like an anthem. Okay. How do you save this mix channel? You're saving the clip, but within the clip contains the automation and also the channel that it was produced on. So that's pretty powerful. So as long as the browser is open, you can actually drag this over here and you'll see a little square symbol, meaning it's going to drop it there. When you let go, you will open up a dialog box. Now the name is going to be whatever the default name of the track is, but you can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it to test. Okay, and you can name this uh, anything you want. You can put in your tags. You can put in your all your metadata so you can find it. Just, just, just great, you know. Hit OK, and uh, you'll see what we're going to do is we're actually going to close Bitwig Studio down. We're just going to shut it down. All right, so now we have a nice, fresh Bitwig Studio open. We're going to go to the browser, and again, you have to go all the way down. You'll see you have your devices, your presets, your samples, your multi-samples. Your music library, you can put your, uh, you know, link link a, a folder to that. You can actually link anything to this music library. It's actually kind of an open slab right now. Now, Clips this is going to be all the MIDI stuff. There's default MIDI shit in there. Now, if you go over to Clips, you'll see, uh, you know, all these Bitwig clips, but you also see my library. These are your own personal clips. You see, if I open this up, by default, it's going to save into the Clips folder. Right here is Test. Drag this over here and put it in and hit play. So you'll see there's my devices, including my nested devices, my modulation, my third party VST. There's all my MIDI information, automation. 
So all that is saved within the clip. But the powerful thing about it is it also saves your chain. It saves your entire mix channel with all the effects. Well, another great thing is you can actually click on here and open Contain It folder, and you're actually going to go to, you know, right on your, your hard drive. So you have the ability to, you know, go in here and create a new folder, you know, call it uh, Super Duper, you know, and then take this, uh, you know, take your clip and then, uh, drag it in to super duper there you go close this down and if you go back to here bitwig has added a folder i click on that there there's my test right there and the great thing about it is you can right click and you can get it organized just your way it's going to take your entire mix channel your automation your midi notes your velocity any modulation you've done within the nested devices it's going to take all that and save it and so you can actually now that this is a clip you can actually drag this into any project and you'll have your instrument your MIDI data all that stuff all dialed in and just another one of my quick tips if you haven't already please subscribe chill computer guy thanks for tuning in we'll see you next week